Ladies and gentlemen, do not adjust your set. I am Hitman Kaz, by way of Struggle Vision Productions. Welcome to the official SummerSlam uh, predictions. And of course, I'm not a, I'm not a, alone here in this endeavor. Please welcome the co-host, as always, the, the humble man, Gary. Gary, welcome to the contracts. Yo, my man Kaz Payton, my boy, was goody, was goody. You ready to get into this shit, you know it? Yeah, man. First off, um, let's start off with a, with the match that just that just got added. Um, the Mysterios versus the Judgment Day in a no DQ match. Right. Um, I'll be honest. Of course, because of this 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 is this was literally an imp- this might as well have been an, an impromptu match. To be honest. Exactly. I mean, don't get me wrong. They've been beefing, you know, before the match got put on the card, but, like, still. That's a fact. But, with that being said, I might, this might be a little out there, but I'm predicting that the Judgment Day will win and by having Dominic turn on Ray. Right, you know, that's a huge possibility. Because I know they've been trying for the longest to try and get Dominic to join, and then there was that fake out. But I think this time he'll join for real. Oh yeah. I think so too. And also, side note, it's great to see that Rhea, that Rhea Ripley's back after all that's happened to her. Oh yeah, exactly. Who know? Who knows? Maybe she might play a role in it too. Yeah, that's a fact. I think she might. And then, and then also speaking of which, it, it it's really crazy how 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 far Judgment Day has fallen. Cause, exactly. cause they had the potential to be one of the one of the best things going uh, on Raw today, kind of like you know on level of the Hurt business. But once Edge left. Uh, uh, everything important about them went, went with them. Exactly. So, yeah, you do have a point with that, for real. So, uh, honestly, they should they, they should have let Edge control what happens to the group. Because, because, you know, what they wanted is the reason why he left. Exactly. Because they wanted to do some, some sort of supernatural shit, and he wasn't down with it. Exactly. So, they honestly should have just should have just let him take the reins and and do 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 it how he wanted, and just and just let it be. Yeah, that's right. But yeah, freaking, I, I I see the I see the Judgment Day winning, just because in my opinion they need this win more than the Mysterios do. Yeah, that's Because honestly, even if the Mysterios were to win, you know, it wouldn't do anything for them much. Exactly. Because honestly, because yeah. honestly, I feel like they're they're stuck in the mid card and they're and they're never gonna get out. Exactly. Um, moving on. Uh, Logan Paul versus The Miz. Now. I don't know if I if I've said this, but it needs to be said. For everybody that does not like Logan Paul and and saying how he should not be in WWE, let me just say something right now. Suck it up, because at the end of the day, this is sports entertainment, and whether you like it or not, he's entertaining. That's why he has as many subscribers he has on YouTube. That's why whenever he does his exhibition boxing matches, fixed or not. If the the arenas more or less are sold out, and that's why if he was the if, no matter what movie he makes, he gets people talking. And on top of that, he, he he's actually really good on the mic. And and you probably don't want to hear this too, but but he actually he, he actually is actually trying to work his ass off as far as training goes, almost uh, 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 just as much as Bad Bunny did. If and. Uh, and and his performance at WrestleMania was on the level of Bad Bunny. Exactly. 
But needless, needless to say, especially because he's a celebrity, I, I still say Logan Paul's going to win. I think so as well. I'll put you on that one. But I will say this. If The Miz wins, the only way I see him winning is if Champa interferes. Right. That too. And also, it really sucks how a, a, a dude like Tommaso Champa, ever since coming to the main roster, has his, got his first name taken away, and he's now being reg- re- relegated to being the Miz's the the, the the Miz is sidekick. No, no, no offense, and, and and that's not even a knock against the Miz. It's just as good as Tommaso is, he he shouldn't be he, he shouldn't be someone's sidekick. Yeah, tell me about it. He really shouldn't. But I will say this: I don't know if you saw it, but he cut a damn good promo on on uh, online uh, about the Miz. No, no, Champa. Oh, I don't think I've seen it. Like, if, if you look, if you, if you if you if you look up Champa and the Miz, you you should you should see it. It's like it, it's like less than a minute, but but it's a damn good promo. So, like on a level of his promos that he cut in NXT, where he's basically putting over the Miz. But of course, he has to put over the Miz because you know he, he's just, he, he's 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 you know, he, he's he's working for the Miz. But 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 that doesn't diminish the promo at all. He 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 def he he, he definitely cut a, a nice short and sweet promo for the Miz. Nice work. And like I said, if Miz wins, it's it's. It's honestly gonna be because of Champa, right? And and also, if she's there, Maurice. And I'm only and I'm and I'm only saying if she's there because she, because you know she was there on Miz TV I think last week. So if she if she pulls up, then yeah, she'll also be a reason why Miz wins. Yeah, that is a fact. It's a fact. Moving on, we have Pat McAfee versus Happy Corbin. Um, I did admit it, but you know, you know, Pat McAfee has been cutting some good promos against Corbin. And oh yeah, he has. That's a really big fact. However, I disagree with how he feels about Corey Graves. Let me tell you something. Even though he has nothing to do with with, with this match, I'm only saying it because he named because he name dropped him. Well, Corey Graves honestly doesn't get the uh, doesn't get the credit that he deserves on commentary. Don't, uh, like right, like the only times I can understand is when he he's 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 coddling over over, over Carmella. That's about it. But but he's but he's married to her, so you know, so so it, it uh, so like you really can't blame him. But other than that, he he's he's done some great work on commentary, and he deserves the the respect of doing such. Exactly. Now, with that being said, I honestly feel that Corbin's gonna win. I feel the same way as well. Uh, however, Pat McAfee will put up a good fight, and honestly, I think this will be one of the first few times where he is going to successfully do the punt. But it's not going to be enough to beat Corbin. Actually, did, right. did he punt uh, Theory at WrestleMania? I'm not, uh, I'm not sure did if he, he did. No, he didn't. But I like I know he beat him, but like I'm not sure if he if he punted him. Nah, he didn't. Mm. Well, anyways, given how how he performs in his matches, I expect this one to be honestly. I feel it's it's gonna be an, an underrated banger. Like oh, yeah, I, I, so, I, so. I honestly feel like it's gonna be underrated, just cause just cause Pat's a commentator and people usually don't don't have 
that high opinion of Corbin, even though he, he deserves, he also deserves more, more credit than he's given him. Exactly. But, yeah, Corbin's winning. Yeah, I think so as well. Yeah. Uh, next match, we have um, Liv Morgan defending the SmackDown title versus Ronda Rousey. Um, I'll be honest, I'm probably going to be one of the few people that you don't expect. Uh, I mean, that, that you aren't going to hear me coddle uh, Liv Morgan or even put her over. Like, don't get me wrong, you know, it was, she she deserved to win Money in the Bank and the title, but I'm not that big a fan of her. Like, like, like she's like she's good in the ring, but I I'm just not a fan of her. I'll say you perfectly. Uh, but honest, but when it comes to this match, I. I honestly think she's gonna win. Just, uh, just cause, yeah, live. Just cause, eh, I, I think she's gonna find a way to uh, counter, um, uh, R- R- Ronda's striking ability, and she and she'll try and avoid the submissions as much as she can, and then. Uh, and then she'll, and then she's gonna, uh, honestly, I think she's gonna catch her with a small package, because I don't see her pinning Ronda, like, just straight up with, with the, with the Oblivion, and one, two, three, because honestly, I, mean, I don't think Ronda will ever lose clean to, to somebody, unless they're, like, a really big star, like, like Charlotte or Becky Lynch or somebody. Right. So, exactly. So yeah, I, I honestly think she's gonna win, win with a small package or something. Right. And what I think, that that's about that, that it could be that. But what I think, I think either Liv is or Ronda's winning. I want either one, or if, or or, or, or Ronda, Ronda goes heel. I'll be so happy. Everybody be happy about that. Everybody that like craps on Ronda. But like you know, everybody that craps on her are gonna end up, are gonna end up riding her train. Are gonna end up getting on her bandwagon. Honestly speaking, that's what's gonna happen. And also, I'm pretty sure her promos and stuff are gonna get even better and stuff when she becomes heel if she gets the proper help. And also, another thing is too, I love them both. Don't get me wrong. And another thing is too. Uh, I think maybe no one's gonna win because I think someone's gonna interfere and that person who I think is gonna interfere is a person who's, who's gonna be in Nashville and, and that week so he's gonna make her return at SummerSlam and if somebody starts with, and if somebody with the three B's oh oh yeah the famous three B's oh yeah yeah man. But- but we're only gonna we're only gonna say just that, just to keep the keep the uh, keep the mystique going. And and if you follow this channel before, then you know who we talk about. Yes, yes. So you know, just go on the past review, go on the past contracts, or just stay tuned to yeah. see who we're referring to. Yeah. And it, and if that happens, then I like it. Because she's been gone for, and, and honestly, it feels like she, she's been gone forever. Yeah, exactly. And I'm one of those that want to see her back. Yeah. Anyways, but I, but I didn't even think about about Ronda possibly turning heel. But, but oh yeah, if that happens, I'll be happy. Yeah, I'll admit it, it will be a good thing because don't get me wrong, she's alright as a face, but honestly, I, but honestly, I think she's boring as a face. You alone with a lot of people say the same thing, and like I'm not trying. I'm not trying to sound like a broken record or anything from what other people have said, but like I just, I just feel that once she cuts a promo, she's trying too hard to like sound like a badass, but still pander to the crowd at the same time. Right, and it just comes off as her being very bland. So, right. so a heel turn. So a heel turn will be. Well, 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 we'll do her some good. 
you know? Right. So, so, exactly. so, so I'll tell you what. If she turns heel to, during the match or after the match, then, then it, and then it'll be a very good thing for her. Because her promos as a heel are, 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 are a lot better, are way better, are way better than her face promos. Plus, they feel more authentic. Exactly. Now, uh, now moving on, uh, we have uh, Bianca Belair defending the Raw Women's title against Becky Lynch. Eh. It, it seems it seems like at least up until now, Becky has been slowly losing her mind with every loss she got. Like like right. like from throwing tantrums to just constantly thinking there was a conspiracy against her, really something. But also, I have been in, I have been enjoying her work. But 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 honestly. I want to see her. Uh, I want to see her delve d- deeper into insanity. So, with, but even before then, I still want want Bianca to win, to retain. Gotcha. I love them both. I want either one to win. But yeah, I, w- I would like for Bianca to retain as well. But I know I know one thing's for sure. This match, and I'm saying this. With every fiber of my being, this this match better not be a repeat of last year. Yeah, it better not be. I swear to God, this better not be a fucking repeat of last year. Last year pissed me off. Yeah, it pissed us a lot of us off. Cause that shit, that shit was foul. It really was. Like after all the hard work Bianca did. Uh, just uh, spit in her face well, with, with that match nah man that ain't it exactly so I hope they they, they put on a real uh, I, I hope they put on a banger of a match big time yeah I hope so too uh, uh, moving on we have Bobby Lashley defending the United States title against Theory. Now, before we get into the match, let me get this off my chest. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care how good that promo was that Roman cut. Look here. For him saying that Vince was his daddy, he sounded like a fucking hypocrite. Because if anybody, <laughs> Ricky and Vince was, was more was more Roman's daddy than he was Theory's. Because if it wasn't for... Okay, now, uh, now. Because I keep hearing too many people trying to praise Roman for for this promo, when 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 it's when everybody knows that that Vince was more of his daddy than theories. Because had it not been for Vince, he wouldn't be holding them fucking titles. As a matter of fact, if, if, if it weren't for Vince, a, ma- a majority of his titles he wouldn't even, he wouldn't even have. And. And for once, this isn't me throwing shade. This is just me speaking facts, because because you because you know that 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 Vin, that Vince wanted Roman to be the guy, and he, and he, and with that, he always kept trying to push him heavy. But even as a heel, a lot of people don't want him. But of course, it's easy to it's it's a lot easier to ignore this time because he's a heel. But, but yeah, and then and, and, and also, I, I loved it when Theory hit J, hit Jay Uso in the back with his briefcase, cause Roman patting him on the back, brushing him off. That I that I, I can let slide just cause Roman you know is older and has more experience and whatnot. But Jay Uso, no, you, for one thing, no, I hate to admit this, but you're not on Roman's level. So, so, with that being said, you can't get away with it. As a matter of fact... The chain so it's not on Roman's level? Yeah. And, and, I, mean, and I mean that as, as star power. As far as in-ring talent, he's better. But, but, but star power, hell no. So, uh, but I'll be honest. If I was Theory, I probably would have 
hit Roman in the back with, with, with the briefcase as well. But that's just me. But, uh, but, it, but honestly, how it happened made sense because letting, because uh, I see it as a way of say there were three brothers, right? And then Rowan, Rowan being the oldest, Jay also being the middle child, and Theory being the youngest. Right. Then, then, and then Theory tries to stand up to, to the oldest, to which the oldest then cuts him down. And then, to which then, he, he pats him on the back and then leaves the room. And then, the, the middle child tries to do the same thing, thinking he can get away with it, but the youngest doesn't let him. That's how I see it. And I got you perfectly. You know, if that makes any sense. But, yeah, that's how I feel. Um, I understand. I understand you perfectly. But before I get even further sidetracked, um, I, I honestly feel that Lashley's going to retain. Yeah, I feel my boy Lashley's going to retain as well. But, but honestly... I can't even front. Hey, Lashley's reign as U.S. champ has been lousy. Oh wow, what a debate you there! I mean, don't get me wrong. Here, I mean, he just won the title. I think at at the at the previous pay right? Yep, he did. But even still, like for one thing, he's barely he he hasn't been on TV as much, so they haven't been promoting the uh, the 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 match much. At least at least not on Bobby's part. And with that, right. and with that being said, is why I feel his reign has been lousy. Because also, I don't think he, I don't think he, I don't think he was even on TV for the for the past two weeks, was he? No, he kind of was time to time. All right. Well, well, honestly, that that's also another reason because if I can't even remember it, that also speaks as to as to how lousy his reign's been. Oh, man. And honestly, with that being said. Even though I, I'm pretty sure Bobby's gonna retain, Theory should win. Just cause, just cause, we've said this before. Bobby doesn't need this title. He doesn't need this ring. He's already won it. He doesn't need it. Yeah, exactly. That's a big fact. He does a like. Uh, he, he don't. Yeah, you know. I'm so, you know. But you know. But honestly, part of me thinks that. If this match doesn't go on long, then I think once once Theory's in the hurt lock, he, he's gonna tap instantly, just to conserve his energy for the main event. Exactly. And and he's gonna be like, forget it. I couldn't win the I couldn't win this title, so I'll try and cash in and win the other. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So. So yeah, moving on, we have the rematch. Uh, the Usos defending the Undisputed Tag Titles against the Street Profits with a wild slap nuts appearing. Je Jeff Jeff Jarrett will be the guest referee. And for, and let me say this: at first, I did question it, like everybody else. However, uh, for however, you got to look at the bigger picture. The they're in Jeff Jarrett's hometown of, uh, home state of Tennessee, you know, and it would only, yeah, exactly. and it would only make sense for him to to be there, to get in, to get his heroes welcome. Exactly. And plus, that you know, correct. and plus, you know, Jarrett's one of the few people that won't let any monkey business go on between between the two teams. Exactly. And with that being said, I hope and pray that this time the Street Profits win. Cause I got you perfectly. Cause last time, you know, the Usos won over some bullshit. So I hope this time the Street Profits win. Well, uh, honestly speaking, I want either one to win. So. But I will say this, the the final promo they had with Jeff Jarrett was funny. Because of course the prophet said they, that they want to smoke and then before 
the Usos could finish their line. Jeff Jarrett w walked back into the shot after he left, and 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 everybody kept quiet, acting like they acting like they weren't doing nothing. That shit was so funny. Oh yeah, that was crazy. But for me, Take Back season needs to be needs to be completed at this pay per view. The Street Profits have to win. Honestly speaking, I got you. I mean, I want either one to win. Cause honestly, if they if they lose this, part of me fears the worst. Which is the Street Profits splitting. Well, I hope that doesn't happen. Cause everybody keeps talking about how Montez Ford is a future star in the WWE, which he is. But. But you know, in order for that to happen, you know, the, the Street Profits got to split, and I don't, and I really don't want that to happen. Cause, All right. cause they've been great, and and they've helped each other out immensely. You know, Montez Ford has helped <laughs> has helped Angelo Dawkins get better in the ring, get better on his feet, freaking get better on the mic, and and Dawkins has helped Ford. Also, get get better in the ring and whatnot. Right. And especially Angelo Dawkins. Shout out to Angelo Dawkins. You know, he he honestly, when it came when it comes to, when it comes to talks when it comes to the to the Street Profits, everyone always says how 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 great uh, Montez Ford is, but always dismisses Angelo Dawkins and and says and and keeps saying that he's holding. Uh, that he's either one holding Montez back, or he, or that he's dead weight. To which, right. to which, from the beginning, from their beginning days in NXT, I've always disagreed with. But no, no one ever wanted to believe me. But hey, well, y'all finally, finally understanding that how right I was. Right, but yeah, I got I got the Street Profits winning. Honestly speaking, I got either one of them winning the job. Love them both. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, finally, we have the main event: Roman Reigns defending the undisputed uh, <laughs> Universal Title against Brock Lesnar. Um. I mean, there's really not much that, that I can say, except I got Brock winning this. I want Brock winning this. Like, Roman Reigns' reign has to end. And I, and I find it funny when it comes to Roman. Because back when they feuded over the Universal title, back when Roman was a face and Brock was a heel, he constantly called Brock out for... Not being around to defend the title, when yet, when yet, with his reign as, as undisputed Universal Champ, now he's doing the exact same thing, which, which makes him look like a hypocrite. Oh, and you, I see what you're saying. And you can't even deny that. I see, yeah, I see, I see, I see what you're saying. Honestly speaking, I really do. I see what you're saying. I already do see what you're saying a lot. And I, I already do. Yeah. And I will say this. If Roman retains, I hope and pray that theory pulls up. Because I'm even telling you this. If he doesn't, I'm cutting the, I'm, I'm cutting the pay-per-view off. Honestly speaking, I'm going to tell you this right now. You already know who I'm backing on this, who I'm going with this to win. And that's... Uh, and that's my boy, Roman Reigns, the tribal chief, the head of the table, the needle mover, our, our head of the table, our tribal chief. No, chiefs. no, your head, our your head of the table, our, your tribal our, chief. Our no. undisputed WWE Universal Champion. Your, uh, well. your undisputed well. WWE, your undisputed Roman champion. Reigns. You will acknowledge Roman Reigns, no. his reign will win, and no. he will, like he said, one last ass whooping for the beast, Brock Lesnar. My boy, the tribal chief, Roman Reigns, will whoop his ass and retain the titles. And if Theory tries to pull up, he will get his ass whooped by both of them. Or, I hope my boy, 
As I'm saying this, as we know, tomorrow night SmackDown, my boy Q McIntyre and my boy Sheamus, they're fighting each other for the number one contender to see who faces the champion at Clash of the Champions. And my boy, they, I, I already know it's quite obvious, my boy Q McIntyre is winning. And if Derby does try to pull up, oh, my boy Q McIntyre comes out and claim on his ass. Or my boys, the Usos, come out and jump Derby's ass. So my boy, the Tribal Chief, so my boy, the Tribal Chief, Roman Reigns, remain champion after my boy Roman Reigns beats Brock Lesnar's ass. Again, one last ass open for the beast, as he says. As he said. Nah. Well, I'm, I'm hoping that the beast incarnate exacts his, his, his revenge the, properly on Roman Reigns. But, uh, running straight through him, running through the Usos, running through anybody that tries to stop him. Uh, and I will say this. Seeing as, seeing as we're talking about Theory again, uh, Theory has a lot of enemies right now. More than more than he needs. Oh yeah, or don't, oh yeah, Dolph Ziggler's one of them. I'm glad he's playing a part in this. But I'm wondering, like, why did they get him? I mean, I'm glad they got him too. I'm trying to wonder more, like, what is his role in this? Uh, he may be one of those to interfere. Did you not hear hey, the promo that he cut? Yeah, well, Ziggler. Yeah, on Raw. When he was questioned why why he keeps singling out Theory. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I was there that night. Oh yeah, but 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 yeah, like like honestly, as far as cashing in, I'd be very careful if I was Theory because, like I said, he has a lot of enemies. Yeah, he really does. Yes, he has he has the Usos, he has Sami Zayn. He has, um, he, ha- he has Dolph Ziggler. Like, that's, that's already a lot right there. And then, and then, of course, the winner of the, of the Sheamus Drew McIntyre match, honestly, if anything, he's better off having McIntyre winning than Sheamus winning. Because if Sheamus wins, he'll have three more enemies in... Sheamus, Butch, and Rich Holland. Whereas if McIntyre wins, he'll only have he only have McIntyre, so that'll be one more enemy instead of three more. You feel me? Oh yeah, I feel you. And honestly, I think it, it would it, it would it would definitely be much worse having Sheamus and Sheamus and the Brawling Brutes as enemies, because because of how unpredictable Butch is, and Lord knows that given how how he's always been. He, he's more. He's more than likely gonna be, gonna be running out, going, going guns a blazing, and beating the crap out of him. Oh yeah. And 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 and, and Rich Holland and Chambers are gonna be trying like how to stop him. Oh yeah, that is true. So yeah. Even even though he holds, he fear, he theoretically holds all the cards, being the money in the bank cash. Cash holder, I still wouldn't want to be him right now. With all with all of his enemies, yeah, I wouldn't want to be him. Right. And honestly, I want to see if he if he's truly gonna put his money where his mouth is, and cash in at, at SummerSlam. Cause, oh, yeah. cause I mean, sure, Biggie made good on his word and cashed in. On Raw when he said he was, but but I remember but I remember when Daniel Bryan was the Money in the Bank holder. He said he was gonna wait until WrestleMania to cash in, to which he didn't. Exactly. So so part of me thinks that Theory isn't gonna cash in tomorrow. I mean I mean at SummerSlam regardless of of, of who wins the match. Right. I mean, honestly, even if Brock does win, I still think that the Usos and Sami Zayn might still try to attack him. I mean, they'd have no obligation because Roman isn't the champ anymore, but even still, eh, I don't know. I got you. But, but before we close this out, there is there, there's also one... One big variable for the event period that we need to speak of, and that's the match that was pulled. 
As, all, as many of you know, Seth, Seth Rollins was set to face off against Riddle at Money in the Bank. However, Riddle was injured on Raw, and the mat and and the and, and the injury was bad enough that that the match has been pulled. However, right. there's many suggestions that Rollins might still compete at SummerSlam. Yeah, exactly. And my question is, who who's gonna be? His opponent, of course, it can't be Cody Rhodes because Rhodes is 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 uh, rehabilitating from his injury, and eh. and you know, I can only I can only wonder who who's gonna uh, interfere. I mean, I mean, who's who's gonna be his opponent? Right. And I will say this: when it comes to the Mysterios versus Judgment Day. I forgot to add this. I, in, there's, a, there's a possibility that Edge might interfere and and help the Mysterios win. That's a huge possibility. And I'm only saying this because of those vignettes that keep popping up. You know which one? You know which ones I, I, I'm talking about. The one that keeps popping up, you said? Yeah. That that shows like Latino Heat and all the other and oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. But, but you know, or who knows? Maybe Edge might be his opponent. But honestly, it wouldn't make much sense. But yeah, hey. exactly. But hey, I wonder if it's gonna be Bray Wyatt. Hey, you know, and anything's possible. Or may, or maybe AJ Styles might be his opponent. But again, it wouldn't make. Right. But you know, again, it wouldn't make much sense because. Of, but you know, but it's an impromptu thing. So you know, it, it could be anybody. Exactly, and not only that. Another thing about it too is that um another thing about that too is that um what am I gonna say? Another thing about that, um is that what the hell is I gonna say? Another thing about it too is that, you know, even if Bray Wyatt would have fight him, it kinda really really makes sense of that either, honestly. But because I mean But again Bray comes it's impromptu, so you know, anything could happen. Anything could and should happen. Yeah, anything could and should happen, bro. Of course, for what I say, maybe it would have made sense because if Bray would have come back, I would, I would rather them have him in Orton feud because have it be like a storyline that Orton sent them away, even though he wasn't sent off. Because remember, the last time we seen Bray Wyatt was last year's WrestleMania. Yeah. And exactly. Or 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 if Randy would come back or whatever. Of course, they have him at Roman feud because they haven't seen like storyline that Roman put him on a shelf. So like have one of those things happen. But like but as we know, it's impromptu. So if it's Bray Wyatt, it's because it was impromptu. Or if it's AJ Styles, it could be impromptu. If it's AJ Styles, like you said, would it make sense either? But like we said, it's impromptu. But AJ and Seth Rollins, they put up great matches against one another. I mean, and, 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 and I and I will say this. I honestly don't want it to be AJ Styles just because uh, him him being the replay him being in that match honestly I feel would be a little too too predictable just relying on him to to pull up for the match you know it's like it's like when when Drew McIntyre was the mystery opponent on SmackDown for a match you know. It, it honestly, it honestly kills the the, the uh, mystique and surprise for it, you know. I, exactly. Like in my opinion, it should be a returning star. Right. But exactly. But you know, we'll we'll find out at the pay per view. Right. So. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for this episode of The Contracts. I definitely want to thank each and every one of y'all for taking the time out of your busy schedule to come and rock with me and, and the humble man. I want to thank the humble man, as always, for kicking his wrestling knowledge and coming through. Yes, sir. My man, you already know. You already know my man, Cos Payton, of course. Always, always, anytime, anytime, anytime. You know it. Yep. And if you enjoyed this video... <laughs> Hit the like button, comment if you feel like, if you're new to the channel, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a new video. And until next time, by way of Struggle Vision Productions, I am the Hitman Kaz, it's the Humble Man, and we out. Peace. Peace.